You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, everybody. Welcome to CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet. I'm the co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Heroism is displayed in many ways, and it's not always running into a burning building to save others. Heroes give of themselves, their time, and their energy to help others and make situations better, always thinking of others first. There are many heroes around us, and yet we don't even know it because it is something they do without fanfare and spotlights. This week's CNA Hero does just that. Over 30 years ago, Corinne Ganchinet from Boss, Missouri, was pursuing a career in law enforcement. She only needed one more credit in a health-related class to get into the police academy. The only class that was open was a CNA course, which she enrolled in. She completed the 12 weeks, passed the state exam, and gained a newfound self-confidence from the skills that she learned. She felt like she could take on any situation. In the 1980s, not too many women were accepted into the police academy. Because of a hearing disability, Corinne could not pass the hearing portion of the entrance exam, despite having fulfilled all of the other requirements. She was disappointed, but not defeated. The next day, she got up bright and early and went to the local nursing home and got hired as a CNA. She still felt like she was fulfilling her dream of honoring, protecting, and serving in uniform, similar to a police officer. But instead of a gun, she had a gate belt. She was still fighting for the right reasons and protecting elders, and she's never looked back. Corinne continued her caregiving journey and has impacted so many lives. She most recently served Missouri veterans at the Veterans Home in St. James, Missouri, before retiring to focus on health and family. She continues to do private duty for a very special friend who was so lucky to have her. And she has cared for a disabled husband, raised two sons, and has a grandson who is very special to her. When most people retire, they do so to focus on things that they want to do. And that's exactly what Corinne has done. CNAs are important to Corinne. Corinne has been on the NACA Board of Directors for three years. She has been critical in the promotion of NACA, the leadership of NACA, and also the biggest annual event for CNAs, CNA Fest. Karan has used her own time and resources to drive hours to look at potential sites for CNA Fest. She has helped with so many CNA Fests and conferences. She knows exactly what, NA what NACA needs in a venue. She has traveled to several other states to help NACA with events on her own time and her own dime. She's even attended a special event at a nursing center over six hours from home to show support for the CNAs hosting the event and to give them encouragement. Every week, she drives three hours one way to the NACA office to record the chill spot for CNA TV. Then she turns around and drives the three hours back home. During CNA Fest, Corinne can be found unloading the truck with, state, with the stage decorations, putting together tote bags for the members and the attendees, folding t-shirts for the pro shop, and tending to members' needs, whatever that may be, from maybe stitching up a ripped banquet gown to putting band-aids on blistered and sore feet. She is one of the hardest working CNAs I have ever known, and I can honestly say that NACA is better because of her. Corinne Ganchinitz, we love you. 
you're a warrior, and this week you are our CNA hero.